Hello all. Right, we're in the wildebeest, ready for a picnic. Got me high vis in front of me. Sandwiches, flask? No, not really. <laughs> right, I've mentioned this a couple of times lately, and it's something that I've referred to as the conveyor belt of fools, or the conveyor belt of idiots. And what it comes down to is the fact, you know, like, um, like Dolly Dalton said the other day, there was a job being posted for a short wheelbase or something like that. Um, two pallets, 1100 kilos, or three pallets, 1100 kilos. And it does come up from time to time where you go, that's not right. And on the flip side of things, you'd also get bits where it's, um, um, yeah, I think that's a guy just come outside. I might need to go and see him in a minute. Um, you know, people quoting on jobs, crazy, crazy cheap. London to Birmingham, four pallets, 40 quid. And people have said that really the CX, there should be a minimum price. So, you know, it, it would stop people coming in and undercutting and quoting the silly prices and stuff like that. The difficulty with this is, and I've said it with Al before, which is if you're in the right place at the right time, you may well do that cheap. Say, for example, I was in Manchester and a guy turned around to me and he said, I've got one pallet and I need to move it to Dunstable. And I look at the address and I go, that's where I park my van. He said, the problem is I've only got 30 quid on the, jo on the job. I'd say, stick it on. Stick it on. I'm going that way anyway. I'll maybe pick up a small job or something like that. If it, you know, bearing in mind that I know I couldn't pick anything else up, stick it on, I'll take it back. Because if you happen to be, this is how the thing if you're the right place, right time, you may find people that are doing stuff for, for silly money. The problem is, in with this, you'll also get people that are doing stuff for silly money when they shouldn't be. So it's a bit like, oh, okay, it's three pallets, I'm going from London, I'm going to Manchester, I'll do it for 40 quid. They're not going that way anyway. But if you're a shipper and if you're a company, you, you, they've got decent feedback and they say they're gonna do it, you're gonna take it. You might find yourself in a situation then where they turn up in a busted van or they turn up in a camper van or they turn up on a motorbike and you go, Jesus Christ, what's happened here? But you also find yourself in situations where you just happen to strike it lucky as a shipper where you've got the right guy going the right way, the right time. You ring him up and say, why is it so cheap? He says, well, because I live there. And I know what I'm doing, I live there. You go, well, I'm going to take it. The problem is with all the ones that convey a bit of fools, the idiots, is there's always going to be a bunch of people on the CX who's going to be undercutting Everyone else on the CX who's been running for a long time, professionals who know what they're doing, and these people are losing out to the mob that are quoting cheaply. Uh, the thing is, though, the mob that are quoting cheaply don't know what they're doing won't last very long because you know, they might be thinking they're earning money. Oh, I made 150 quid this week. Oh, I made 300 pounds this week. Then suddenly the gearbox goes bang, or the clutch goes bang, or something happens and they go, I haven't got any money left. I can't run anymore, and then they disappear off the end of the conveyor belt. But for everyone that disappears off the end of the conveyor belt, another one comes in at the beginning of the conveyor belt, and there'll always be these people getting on the CX, thinking they're doing well, running for a month or two, realising that they've actually done it completely wrong and falling off the conveyor belt. For everyone that falls off, one comes on. So one of the things on the CX you will always be fighting, the conveyor belt of fools. All you can do is most shippers that are worth their salt will know what a job should cost. They will not want any old Tom, Dick or Harry to do it. Um, they'll want you to have decent feedback. And the more you do work for them, the more chance you have getting more jobs like, you know, because they've got to contend with these people the same way as we have to contend with these people. If you're a van driver, if you're an owner driver, you're getting undercut by these people. If you're a shipper, you're forever risking the fact that it could go wrong, which is why hopefully eventually you'll get yourself a decent reputation. You'll get yourself some decent feedback. You'll get yourself on a list of like shippers in the area as a list of approved drivers you'll get the back door you can ring them up and you can go hello mark hello barry it's pete i can do that job and they might look down the list and they'll go well you ain't the cheapest and you ain't the closest but i know you because you worked before so that's it you've got to get past it but it'll always be there and they say is there a way we can eradicate it well you can't eradicate it you can't put a minimum price on a job because there is always the off chance that you might be there in brighton and it's a shoebox and it's going back to dunstable and you live in dunstable and the guy says i've only got 20 quid and you go just put it on I'll drop it off on my way home. You know, it's the way it is. So that's the thing about the conveyor belt. For as always, thoughts. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to see if that black, the guy in a black car is um, turned up with the stuff I need, and then I can take care and take money.